so in this sheet model we're trying to place some text um, but when we activate the text tools either place text or edit text we're getting the tool settings dialog to appear but the text editor window it's either something's wrong with the software right now or the, the text editor is somewhere off in space so to troubleshoot this first let's just go to our user press so a quick way to do that would be to type in dollar sign percent sign explorer and then UST and home prefs exactly how you see it here in the key and dialog if you press enter it'll take you to the active sessions preferences and you see all of the user preference files here so just as a troubleshooting step we'll rename this folder to something different so microstation doesn't read it Now we'll close and open MicroStation completely. And if the text editor appears after doing this, then we've resolved the issue. And it's likely due to either a corrupt preference file in that directory or, like I said before, it could the text editor could just could have just been off in space somewhere that just harder to find. So here we go. Text editor is back. Another way to, um, another troubleshooting step you could take, if that doesn't work, you could also run your restore defaults command line switch. So open your run dialog, go to C, program files, Bentley, MicroStation Connect Edition. into microstation folder and then last microstation.exe followed by a space dash restore defaults and press OK. This will only work if microstation is closed. And then a command window will open up and give you a summary of the files that were deleted. So this is restored microstation to factory defaults for the user. And if we open MicroStation again, our text editor, editor will also be back. So this is also another solution. So these are two great troubleshooting steps to take if you're encountering issues with the text editor not appearing or any dialogue in MicroStation for that, for that matter. So pretty good troubleshooting step there. So while we got the text editor pulled up, I just wanted to show you something else. So sometimes we get issues where it's reported that a text block or just any annotation automatically jumps to a next the next line even though there's no enter or tab in the text. Most of the time this is going to be caused by word wrapping enabled. So to get to the word wrapping you just right click in the ruler up here and enable word wrapping or remove word wrapping. And as you can see here, if you have it enabled and you can click and drag at the ruler, you can adjust where the line breaks to the next line. So just keep that in mind. It's maybe not as apparent that this is happening, but this is caused by word wrapping. And to get to word wrapping, by the way, you do need to toggle on the display for the ruler. So display options here, rulers to uh, toggled on, but you can also toggle on white space which will uh, show your symbols your formatting symbols like tab indent spaces etc and one last thing I wanted to show you with the text editor pulled up let's say you have some text in like a word document and it has some formatting if you paste it in the text editor it will just pull all the formatting into here but if you have an issue where you need to paste it unformatted, just right click in the text editor and paste unformatted here. So now your text is in the text editor unformatted and it will follow the text style. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.